Across Trinidad and Tobago, we've been seeing the dusty, hazy skies, and uh, that has also spread across parts of the Eastern Caribbean. And unfortunately, we'll likely see a bit more of that, especially towards the weekend. So therefore, looking at the, the uh, forecast, we've been talking about the Saharan dust. It does obviously tend to affect those of you who are sensitive, especially those with respiratory ailments who should take the necessary precautions. But it does have a good side in that the Saharan dust provides minerals and nutrients towards the Amazon rainforest. So obviously, both good and bad will have to live with this Saharan dust. Now, the Saharan dust has been with us over the last uh, couple of days. It will likely resurge as we go through the weekend, but in between there will be some cloudiness and uh, some showers. So for the most part then, uh, for tonight, across uh, Tobago as well as Trinidad, we're looking out for mostly cloudy conditions. Scattering of showers are expected, especially across the hillsides of uh, Trinidad. And along the south coast of Trinidad uh, tonight, you'll also see a fair amount of cloudiness and showery activity. Now, through tomorrow, we'll continue to see most of the cloudiness, at least for the first part of your morning. Scattering of showers are expected, especially for eastern areas of Trinidad as well as Tobago. There will still be some Saharan dust in the atmosphere, but overall, the concentrations should be lower because of the rain clouds around. Now, at least as we go into Wednesday, most areas will likely continue to see that mixture of cloudiness and some scattered showers alongside some Saharan dust. And that will be the trend as we go through Thursday and Friday. But beyond that, it seems as though the weather models, as well as the observations out there in the Atlantic, are picking up yet another plume of Saharan dust. This one will likely be quite thick and it will likely reach us as we get towards the beginning of next week. So take necessary precautions, not only for tomorrow, but definitely take in store for what's likely to happen from the weekend. Now, temperature-wise, uh, tonight we're looking at lows of uh, 23 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 24 degrees Celsius in Tobago, and at least uh, for tomorrow, looking at highs just around 29 degrees Celsius for the most part. We'll likely struggle to get anywhere close to 30 degrees Celsius simply because of the cloudiness around and also that Saharan dust. You'll find that under dusty conditions, the sun's rays can't actually penetrate that dust, and therefore you find we get lower temperatures at the surface. Now, for fresher folk and mariners, the hazy conditions have been with us as well, and that will likely continue, as I said before, occasionally interrupted by those passing showers. But it will also be quite breezy offshore, looking at easterly winds are fresh at 15 to 20 knots, also looking at some white capping activity and sea spray, and waves of 2.5 meters are expected. We could be seeing some waves getting up to 3 meters out there in the Atlantic, especially under some of those gustier conditions. And it seems as though once we get past that, especially for fisher folk as well as mariners, we're talking about the added Saharan dust. And that dust has been affecting most of the Eastern Caribbean as well, all the way up towards Antigua. And they will continue to see hazy conditions across the Leeward Islands and Windward Islands, at least for the next couple of days, out towards the Greater Antilles around Cuba, as well as for the Dominican Republic and Haiti. There's just a mixture of occasional showers, and uh, some of those uh, passing showers will likely bring some brisk winds as well. So if you're around uh, Kingston, it could also be quite windy, especially along that south coast. But overall, for us here in Trinidad and Tobago, the next couple of days, we'll see that mixture of cloudiness and showers. But watch out for more significant concentrations of Saharan dust by the weekend. So that's your forecast, and that's it from me.